The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Intelligence and passion are possessed by other animals, but reason by man alone. Choose always the way that seems the best, however rough it may be. Custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. A fool is known by his speech, and a wise man by silence. Do not go to bed until you have gone over the day three times in your mind. What wrong did I do? What good did I accomplish? What did I forget to do? Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words. Rather, correct your mistakes with examination. The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. The wise man should be prepared for everything that does not lie within his control. Concern should drive us into action and not into a depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. It is only necessary to make war with five things, with the maladies of the body, the ignorances of the mind, with the passions of the body, with the seditions of the city, and the discords of families. The experience of life in a finite, limited body is specifically for the purpose of discovering and manifesting supernatural existence. Educate the children, and it won't be necessary to punish the men. Love that shines from within cannot be darkened by obstacles of the world of consequences. In anger, we should refrain both from speech and action. If you're asked, what is the silence? Respond, it is the first stone of the wisdom's temple. The highest goal of music is to connect one's soul to their divine nature, not entertainment. Learn to be silent, let your quiet mind listen and absorb. Lust weakens both body and mind. Friends are companions on a journey who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. The stars in the heavens sing a music, if only we had ears to hear. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. Respect yourself, the rest will follow. Hate and fear breed a poison in the blood, which if continued, affects eyes, ears, nose and the organs of digestion. Therefore, it is not wise to hear and remember the unkind things others might say about you. We come from God, as the tree from the root and the stream from the spring. That's why we should always be in contact with Him as the trunk from the root because the stream dries up when it is separated from the spring and the tree dies when it is uprooted. You should make great things, not promise great things. If you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom.
As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Every man has been made by God in order to acquire knowledge and contemplate. You should help a man to take up a burden, but you should not help him put it back down. Most men and women, by birth or nature, lack the means to advance in wealth or power, but all have the ability to advance in knowledge. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. Friendship is one soul in two bodies. Rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk of you as they please. Silence is better than unmeaning words. Some are slaves of ambition or money, but others are interested in understanding life itself. These give themselves the name of philosophers, and they value the contemplation and discovery of nature beyond all other pursuits. No man is free who cannot control himself. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. Do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in a few. Learn silence. With the quiet serenity of a meditative mind, listen, absorb, transcribe and transform. Write in the sand the flaws of your friend. Wisdom, thoroughly learned, will never be forgotten. Consider before acting to avoid foolishness. It is the worthless man who speaks and acts thoughtlessly. None can be free who is a slave to and ruled by his passions. So in life some enter the services of fame and others money, but the best choice is that of those few who spend their time in the contemplation of nature and as lovers of wisdom. Salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. Envy has been, is and shall be the destruction of many. What is there that envy hath not defamed or malice left undefiled? Truly no good thing. Animals share with us the privilege of having a soul. When the wise man opens his mouth, the beauties of his soul present themselves to the view like the statues in a temple. Choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body. If there be light, then there is darkness, if cold, heat, if height, depth, if solid, fluid, if hard, soft, if rough, smooth, if calm, tempest, if prosperity, adversity, if life, death. Government exists only for the good of the governed. Practice restraint over the following. Appetite first as well as sleep, lust and anger. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. 
truth is to be sought with a mind purified from the passions of the body. Having overcome evil things, thou shalt experience the union of the union mortal divinity with the mortal man. Anger begins in folly and ends in repentance. A stranger, if just, is not only to be preferred before a countryman, but a kinsman. Time is the soul of this world. Without justice, no realm may prosper. Do not spend in excess like one who is careless of what is good, nor be miserly. The mean is best in every case. Many words befall men, mean and noble alike. Do not be astonished by them, nor allow yourself to be constrained. As soon as you awake in order, lay the actions to be done the coming day. The beginning of every government starts with the education of our youth. Let exercise alternate with rest. Remind yourself that all men assert that wisdom is the greatest good, but that there are few who strenuously seek out that greatest good. Thought is an idea in transit, which when once released, never can be lured back, nor the spoken word recalled. Reason is immortal, all else mortal. Dear youths, I warn you, cherish peace divine, and in your hearts lay deep these words of mine. Above all, have respect for yourself. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.